Hello. Hello. We're here again. And, and it's been a while. It's been a while since, since I have held my head up high. It's been a while since I sang stain to you. It has been a while since I sang stain. It has been, yeah, yeah. But that's the thing. Were you saying sang stain to you as in me, myself, or the audience? Uh, a bit of both. A bit of both, yeah. Yeah, yeah I thought I'd, I'd treat you to a bit of stain. Some of that. 2000s post grunge. Yep, yep. You know, beautiful maladies of a, a very depressed individual. Yeah, the and band were. I don't know what it was with Stain. Like, that album was great, but the album that came before it, Dysfunction, was superb. Yeah, like, I, I like Stain. Yeah. I'm, I'm not even gonna fist that fat man. No, I'm, I'm, I'm not even gonna lie about it. They're, they're a damn good band, very talented musicians. And you know what, I'm going to go on record to say something else as well. I think the first two or three Nickelback albums are fantastic. Uh, what, as in, what was the first one? Uh, is it like The Long Road or something? Is that the one with which has got Leader of Men on it? Yeah. Fucking awesome album. Yeah. Yep, totally, totally agree yeah, with Leader of Men, one. great song. Man. Yeah, in fact, uh, that was on uh, a Drill in the Vein compilation. Remember the old uh, Drilling the Vein VHS cassettes that Road Runner did? I do. I think that might it be was, where I heard it as well. It was on the third or the fourth one, I think. And I just thought, okay, this is a bit a big departure from like Cold Chamber and Life of Agony and Slipknot that they usually have on there. Yeah. But then I thought, wow, this is a really good song. We'll run past these assholes yeah. until the uh, aggro wears off. Until the aggro wears off. What, the horse from Shadow of the Colossus? Yeah, to the horse of... <laughs> yeah, it's a very own never ending story moment. It was, wasn't it? It was. I heard how they did that in the film and it actually sounds horrific. What, as in drowning a horse? <laughs> yeah. Apparently the way they did it is they strapped the horse to a hydraulic lift and pulled it into the swamp. So like they made the swamp on set. Yeah. But they yeah, strap the horse to a hydraulic lift, and then, uh, yeah, just started pulling it into the uh, into the swamp, like dr essentially drowning his horse. Yeah. So the fear on the horse's face is definitely real because it's strapped to a fucking hydraulic lift, and it's being slowly <laughs> pulled into this thing, and it's like that is some dark shit. Like, yeah. That film. And, yeah, and also was all the while, dark. you know, it's uh, recently hit Netflix as well. Has it? It's recently hit Netflix, yeah, alongside of quite a few other things. Um, I recently reacquainted myself with Species. Yeah? Yeah, which, first film, I still think awesome. Oh yeah, we're doing Paul, by the way. We've decided to yeah, yeah. take a quick break from the one we from Muggins. And we're going to have a, a pop-up poll. Old electric doggo face. Poll driver. Uh, anyway, yeah, Species, you reacquainted yourself. Yeah, yeah, um... Again, a uh, really good film. Some of the special effects are slightly questionable because obviously it was 1995 and CGI was in that kind of, you know, it might look quite funky, but uh, oh god, it definitely doesn't look real. Oh, look at him. This being October, you know, kind of spoopy. Yeah. Uh, kind of electric dogish. Is he actually a dog? I, now that I look at him, no. he just sort of looks like a big. He's a, he's a big skelly boy he's with... Prick is what he is. He's got lots of... Uh, I, I just want him to stay still. Yeah, this this boss fight did give me some trouble originally because it's really hard to kind of... Well, it, it's hard to kind of keep underneath him. That's what you want to do. You want to kind of keep yep. underneath him and just crack his legs. Is fire the best thing against him? Well, electric ain't going to work, is it? Well, <laughs> yeah, true. But that's the thing, you know, combine all the elements. Do your Captain Planet. Get Earth and Heart involved. not doing a huge amount of damage though and you have nearly got him down by half yeah i'll tell you what he, i'll tell you what he actually looks like he looks like one of those um he looks like one of those demon things that comes out the ark in raiders of the lost ark it's the face yeah the kind of demon spooky skelly lady just before everyone's all the wax nazis faces melt oh my god he's a quick fucker isn't he he is yeah and he's quite chunky that hurt. But he's down by half, and you still have 18 blood vials to inject into your leg. It's good if it's not insulin. It's the, worst, <laughs> the worst diabetic ever. Ain't my fix, bro. This is fuck me. I really oh, just... Yeah. I, I need him to keep still, just for a minute. You are hitting him, though. 
I'd say an uh, another good five or six hits, and he's he's Doesn't toast. Feel like I'm doing anything. Um, you have you've nearly beaten him. One more of those, and he's down. Come on, Dark Beast Pal. You're no pal of mine. There we go. There you go. Look See, uh, he's toast. Yay. Yay! And you got yourself a nice little badge to pin on your jacket. Awesome. Now I look cool. Yeah. I was brave at Dark Beast Pass <laughs> today. Oh no! 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 <laughs> Do not take that away from us! <laughs> oh, you fucking cunt. <laughs> is it going to save that? Yeah, it should do. Oh, dear, oh, dear. Oh, my God. God. This is where you put up the title card. Look. <sighs> oh, fucking. Fucking. Paul. <laughs> you just, I, <laughs> now, what you got to do is just set up a picture of. Um, William Shatner in Star Trek. Oh! <laughs> Thank you for your cooperation. Yeah. Oh my god. Well, that was disappointing. Are you gonna? Is he now gonna be dead? I don't know. Is he still gonna be dead? Is he gonna yeah. have his? Oh, yeah. That was the thing we didn't do. Yeah. We didn't put the timer on. No, we didn't. Hey ho! Yeah, It'll be a feature yeah. length because we had a uh, technical we'll, breakdown. We'll do ten minutes on the timer because I reckon that was about five minutes. Yeah. I'm good at. I think it was about five minutes actually. We're good at times. That was. Oh my, that, what? That was hilarious. That was so bad. But that's the thing. In as many months and as many games that we've played, that's the first technical issue we've had. It's good that we weren't playing Code Vein, because I know that's uh, that's quite prone to crashing at the at the moment. Is it? Yeah. Well, yeah. Have any there's problems, there's been quite a few reported crashes of late. I oh, yay! We're there. We're there. Look, we're there. Oh, he's yeah. dead. Way. But where's the where's the lamp? Oh, there it is. Yeah, he did it. Whew. Oh, it's fine. Whew. Okay, I, welcome back, ladies I and gents. No crashes with Code Vein at all. Hmm. Code Vein was absolutely fine for me. Okay. I've had. I mean, I had a couple of crashes with Dark Souls Three when I first played it. Yeah. Code Vein spectacular, by the way. It really is. Yeah, if anyone hasn't actually... Well, I mean, given the time that this video has been released, if you're not already playing Code Vein, do yourself a favour and get it, because it is an absolute blast. It's definitely one of the better Souls clones. Yeah, yeah, it really is. The combat... This, there's something almost Devil May Cry-ish about yeah, the combat. Absolutely. And, and, it and was, the fact that the controls are the same. Well that's, well, that's the other thing, yeah. It did take me a little while to get used to not using the triggers to do uh, combat. Yeah, and in fact, having said that, the reason that I put fire on just then is because I just pressed square <laughs> yeah. to attack, which well, isn't how you attack in Bloodborne. Well, you took these guys out, and these boys... Clearly don't like being set on fire because they only take like, two hits, three hits. Fair, would you like being set on fire? Don't know. Oh. Depends. Um, if I was the Human Torch in Fantastic Four, it wouldn't. It wouldn't scare You've me. always got a fucking answer for everything, haven't you? You're like, look at me with my clever answers. It wasn't really a clever answer. It was more of a reference. Is that dude? Can we talk to him? No. no. It's, it's it's dead. Just... <laughs> kind of dead. Uh, fair enough. Yeah, so we didn't need to go there anyway, because that's just opening up a shortcut to Old Yarnum. Yeah. Which we've already decimated, because we're fucking hardcore badass decimators of Old Yarnum. But... Yeah, get that on a t-shirt. <laughs> 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 fucking hardcore decimators of Old Yarnum. Or... No, I'm not even going to try and put that into it. I can't, I'm just... <laughs> Welcome home, good hunter. What is it uh, you desire? Well. You not to crash again. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that would be lovely. Uh, is it worth investing endurance. anything into skill? No, no. Not for this build, anyway. Uh, I think I've got ten left. Right, let's go back to that place what we just been to. Yep. We're carrying 23 blood vials instead of 21. So we are. Yeah. It's rather smashing. Oh, I'm seeing... What? Where? Hmm. Where are you trying to go back to? What, the one where you born? Wasn't it in your Harrigal village? Yeah, it's the chapel. Yeah. Uh, is it the chapel? It's the chapel. We'll find out in a minute. Yeah, because the village is at the top, and so you got to make the gauntlet past the amygdalas and yeah, and all the uh, respawning all that, blood bastards. All that bollocks. Slow 
Bleh. All those bastards. Yeah. So you've seen the Joker. I have. And you said it was great. I also signed an NDA at work, so I can't talk about it. Ah, oh, that well, that's that, that's really that fucking hell. What the hell was he carrying? What weapon was that? Uh, that guy, he had like he looked a like big, a giant a big bastard. Wow, I've never seen that in Bloodborne ever. But uh, anyway, yeah, it's been a while one. since I've played it. But wow, that was quite impressive. Yeah, that was an impressive weapon you have there, sir. Yeah. So even though I didn't have that. Like any actual involvement in the Joker at all, um, I'm not sure about what I can and can't talk about it because Warner Brothers made us sign a pretty airtight NDA. Yeah. So I'd rather not Collect your risk talking about it at all. Okay, fair enough. If that's okay. Yep. Okay. Well, then we'll just have to go on to something else. Uh, it part two. You've seen that, haven't you? I have. Yeah. And what did you think? I thought it was good. I thought it was good. The ending I felt dragged for far too long. Oh, you've not read the book, have you? I have read the book. I read the book before I actually did saw you the... See that shit? Yeah, you got dogged to death. You did. I, I actually I read the first book before I saw um, the first film. And I saw the first film in a tiny caravan in the New Forest. Um, and it scared the shit out of me. Absolutely. To the point where me and my brother were sharing a room. And I was just kind of like... If my brother wasn't here in the room, I wouldn't feel safe because the nightmares would get me. You read the book when you were ten? Yeah. That's a big book to read when you're ten. I know, I know. Well, it will. that's the thing. I, fought, I, I look back and I realise I played a lot of video games when I was a kid, but not as much as I do now. Because, obviously, when you're, when you're ten, a Nintendo game would cost you, what, 40 quid? And when you get good at it, you can beat it in an hour, if less than that. Whereas yeah. now you spend forty quid on a game and it can take you weeks and weeks to get anywhere. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, just to, just to tap that bit of the wall. Fucking idiot. Oh, awesome. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, no. Uh, going back to it, part two. Really good film, but the ending, the, the the whole ending for me, I just felt was really sort of stretched. Just a just a tad too yeah. long. Like they, the problem that they had with it is that they were making the worst part of the book into a film. Yeah. Like the, yeah. the adult part is just boring in the book. Mm. And making an interesting film out of a boring part, that's why they brought the kids back into it. And yeah. And we're like, oh, here's some stuff. And so I, I think the first, it is great. Like it's one of my favourite horror films. It's superb. It, it's not scary, it's just... It, it's unsettling. It's, it's just a really good adventure. It's a good coming of age, mm. like adventure. And I have to the say, second, well, the second one was good. Yeah, it wasn't bad. And the fact that Andy Muschietti is currently in talks with Warner Brothers. Yeah, to do the super to do the cut. super cut. I'm I'd be well up. For I that. think if that happens, the super cut will like raise them both. Yeah, and the super cut as one thing will probably just be a masterpiece. Mm. I think it'd be incredible. So I'm, I'm very excited. I, I, I think the supercut will make it chapter two considerably better than it was. On well, its own. I mean, okay, right. I'm going to prefix this with a spoiler alert. The the Japanese restaurant scene in the original film, I think, was done better than the one in the remake. Oh, it was because it was practical effects. Yeah. The CGI yeah. in it its was laughable. Chapter two was dreadful with the the wiggly eyeball thing that comes out the cookie and starts running around and the the bug with the baby's head i was like yeah. it just takes I ran the wrong way out. i ran i ran the wrong way uh we'll run the right way come on oh bloody that took like nearly all your health yep but you've got a night oh <laughs> 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 it's a surprise motherfucker oh fuck. i haven't played this since we last recorded which yeah. was about a month ago it was a while wasn't it yeah because yeah. we've both been heavily involved with working and stuff yeah. well that and the fact that i fucked both my back and my hand up at the same time how is your hand it's still sore yeah it's 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 different i mean like i can play video games it looks it. swelled still it still looks swollen or i can play got, well if you just got fat hands i've just got chunky no, hands. No, you, that's well fatter than that yeah that's what i mean i mean if i hold them up you can see yeah um there was there was a huge amount of bruising like right along the thumb to the point where my entire thumb was like kind of browny yellow and I thought, okay, well, it's obvious I haven't sprained it. I've smacked it with something. And I actually remember what it was I did now. 
Yeah. Um, I've got like a wooden uh, a wooden bed, and I put my, I basically tried to prop myself up to sort of get up after I've been playing games, and I think I slammed my hand too hard down onto a piece of wood, and I bruised it. But I can play games. I can pick things up. I can't pick up anything heavier than say um, a few sheets of paper without it hurting. And I can't do a thumbs up with my right hand, which is annoying because you know I love Terminator 2, and I love reenacting that scene every time sure I go. Fractured it. I don't know. I'm going to see a doctor or a physio in uh, well once next week is over with. Yeah, that's a good idea. Yeah, because at the moment it's like it's problematic. It doesn't hurt all the time, but there's just little Ooh, things. Shoot. There's just little things that I can't do, or things that I do do on a regular basis, and realise that still twinges. Mm. And, you know. As a hardcore, uh, whatever it was you said earlier, hardcore motherfucker of old Yarnum or whatever it was. I don't, remember. I don't remember. Who cares? But as one of them, you know, I need my I need my hands to game and stuff. Yeah, I mean. Oh, oh is that is that one of the hunters? <laughs> it's one of the hunters. Kill him. It's one of his own. Oh, it's Vol It's what's his name? Voldo from Soul Edge again. Before he got buff and covered himself in DIY bondage gear. Oh, oh god, god damn! And he's bought his mates. Right, hang on. Do you? Did we have the blood? The blood bath? Did we have the blood echoes? You're not going to run into another one of those skelly bones, are you? <laughs> this is. Uh, well, it's all going on, definitely. Yeah. <laughs> this, is, this couldn't be. <laughs> Two hunters any and, worse. A, and a and a box of skellies. Probably the worst situation I've been in today. Well, not really. You've just taken him out. The yeah. other two haven't advanced on you yet, so you so could come back from this. Asshole. Oh, he's got a chain whip. What are you whipping him for? Everyone just basically ripping off Soul Edge. Yeah. You might want to heal up. Oh, actually, I'll just say you're hitting him, so you're already doing that. Very well done, sir. I take my hat off to you if I was wearing one, but I'm not. Right, now come at me. Come at me, fuck boys. Come at me, bro. Come on, me, come on, Voldor. I, I, wanted to say, I actually wanted to say Voldemort for some reason. I was thinking <laughs> now I'm entirely getting all of my story channels mixed. Right. Yes! You're dead. Where's right. your mate? Grab his stuff. Grab it. Don't do this to me, Rick. You did this last time. You Please. you killed one of the hunters and you didn't pick up their ship. See, claw mark. I don't know what that is. It's a rune. We'll find out what it does. Oh, it's a rune. But it's one of those ones that you can equip at the table. Yeah, but what does it do? Well, I don't know. Oh, you fucking fanny. <laughs> is this as good a place as any to leave it for today? I think it is. So thank you very much for watching. We'll see you next time. Tally bye.